Hi, my name is MK1 Jeffrey Redman. I'm with the Engineering Systems School Fast Response Cutter staff at Training Center Yorktown. This video will cover the removal and installation of the MTU 20V 4000 N93L connecting rod. The MPC that coincides with this task is Alpha 15200D. This task will normally be performed as a corrective maintenance upon failure. This video is for familiarization with the task and shall not take the place of official procedures promulgated by a Petrobo product line. Ensure you follow all safety guidelines outlined in the maintenance procedure card. Now let's cover the tools you'll need. Barring gear, bore gauge, outside micrometers, depth gauge, 22 millimeter half inch drive, 12 point, 22 millimeter three quarter drive, 12 point, Sharpie, snap gauges, three quarter inch torque wrench, half inch torque wrench, half inch socket wrench, three quarter inch socket wrench, and for consumables, engine lube oil, and denatured alcohol. It is required to remove the fuel injector and valve cover per MPC Alpha 53010 D. To drain the coolant per MPC Alpha 51111 D. To remove the intake manifold per MPC Alpha 52059 D. To remove the valve gear per MPC Alpha 15050 D. Remove the cylinder head per MPC Alpha 15012 D and to remove the piston and connecting rod assembly per MPC Alpha 15179D. We've already done these, so let's get started. Disassemble the con rod assembly and clean all the components. Fit the bearing shells into the conrod. The upper and lower shells come as a set, but are different parts. It is critical to align the tabs so the bearing shells are installed in the correct locations. Install the con rod in a vise with soft jaws or a connecting rod stand to torque the connecting rod cap bolts. Place the con rod cap on the con rod so that the part numbers are on the same side. Using engine oil, lubricate the connecting rod cap bolts and install. Tighten the connecting rod cap bolts to initial torque using a torque wrench per specified torque in the maintenance procedure card. Then torque the additional degrees of rotation per the maintenance procedure card. Perform a final torque check per maintenance procedure card. Measure the connecting rod crank pin bore with the bearings installed per maintenance procedure card. Disassemble the connecting rod. Measure the connecting rod bolt length for elongation per maintenance procedure card. Measure the con rod width per maintenance procedure card. There are four possibilities of bearing sets for the connecting rod bearings. Clarification that the crankshaft connecting rod journal has not been previously machined can only be verified by taking a measurement. Take extreme caution when taking the crankshaft measurements to avoid scoring or damaging the crankshaft with the micrometer. Measure the crank pin diameter per maintenance procedure card. Using a snap gauge and micrometer, measure the crank pin length for the connecting rod at the crankshaft per maintenance procedure card. 
Taking care not to measure at the lube oil groove, measure the piston pin bore in the connecting rod per maintenance procedure card. Complete reassembly by following the listed maintenance procedure cards. Once all installation is complete, conduct a performance test to make sure repairs were successful.